guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here John and I moved into a house and a lot of it needed some upgrading my newest DIY project was our second bathroom when we moved in we knew we were gonna have to do a lot of work to update our house but the location that we're in was so amazing that we didn't want to pass up on this house just because it had a few cosmetic um, things that we didn't like so basically when we moved in uh, the garage was a mess like it was an actual hole like I, I haven't even used it until we redid it because I was so creeped out by it it was genuinely just like a hole in the wall in our garage like it was disgusting like it was disgusting they had old crusty like vinyl tiles on the floor uh, the shower was just gross the shower curtain was gross um, the walls were just very like blah and it had like who knows what all over the walls so we completely like renovated the entire thing the bathroom didn't even have a sink so that was weird that was a struggle to figure out i'm going to explain what we did and uh where we got everything and i think the whole project minus the sink that we had to buy was under 150 dollars which is amazing for the before and after result so i will show you what it looked like before our house is pretty weird that it came with two bathrooms but this was one of them and as you can see there's no light it's literally just a bathroom in the garage and I want to be able to use it obviously is not like a first option but I just want it to look nice because right now it just looks so gross like it full-on looks so gross and look at the they painted all the walls black like we're gonna paint them like a light gray um, but yeah right now this is what we're dealing with some disgusting tile um, they actually put cheap vinyl tile over other cheap vinyl tile so we're gonna rip all that up scrub it we're gonna scrub the walls as well and then we're gonna put on some wallpaper and uh, there's also no sink in here so we bought a sink that actually goes on the back of the toilet and then I'm gonna get a mirror uh, that goes there I want it to be usable um, for both us and not to be so embarrassed if we have to have a guest use <laughs> another bathroom or it just makes me uncomfortable to come out here to be honest because it's so gross so we're gonna make sure it's not so nasty and it does have a shower with a nasty shower curtain as well so we're gonna change all of this and then we actually went to I think Home Depot and we were, I was looking at vinyl tile because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this second bathroom that was going to be in our garage you know what I mean so um, when I went up to the vinyl tile section they actually had these vinyl wood plank tiles so I was like this is perfect it was like $35 for a case and we ended up only needing like not even half of the case so we actually extended it and filled out our laundry area with the wood planking um, so that was awesome now here is the finished bathroom and I'm gonna explain to you everything that we did in the bathroom and how we kept it under $150 okay you guys so this is the final result I'm so happy Okay, so first when you walk in, don't mind the black walls, those are going to be painted light gray. They painted the garage black for some reason. So as you can see, the floors came out awesome. We did it over here for our laundry as well. Um, but the floors came out awesome. This was $35. It looks like real wood. Like, I can't get over that. And then we have this wallpaper. Now, let me tell you, the reason I didn't film this, look at the texture on the wallpaper, okay? So it looks nice, especially from afar. Um, but there is some texture to it so I didn't realize that there were textured walls out here when I ordered this but I was like you know what I'm gonna make it work I don't think it looks that bad it could definitely look worse and I just really like the pineapple design so I just went with it and at least we were able to hang it up hanging wallpaper that does not have adhesive on it is really hard you really have to layer on a lot of glue wallpaper paste onto the wall in order to get it to stick 
Uh, so that's what we had to do. It was definitely a two-person job, but we really only needed like three sections of wallpaper to finish this, so it was nice. And I still have some left over over there, so. We did the walls. The color is called Tsunami by Bear, and we just got a Glidden paint and mixed the color in there. And so then we have this mirror. This mirror I got at Ross, actually, and it was 20 bucks, which I thought was awesome. Then I got the shelf at Hobby Lobby. This was half off, so it was actually $12. I have my Fall Myers soap. That stuff is amazing. We still need a paper towel roll. It's coming in the mail. It's, um, I got it on Amazon. It's gold, so we'll probably put that right there, but I just wanted to film this. Um, and then I just put like a little decorative candle holder right there just to balance it out. And then I got this little hexagon towel holder also at Hobby Lobby. And I just put a towel that I already had on there. It kind of matches the walls. Um, and then the, my favorite part of the whole bathroom was this sink. So this sink is actually called Sink Positive and I got it from Home Depot. They also have it on Amazon, but it's actually cheaper on Home Depot. And this thing is the coolest thing. So some people might be grossed out that it's on top of the toilet, but let me tell you, it uses clean tap water. It comes straight in, just like clean water would fill up the bowl in the back. It's just clean water coming through the spout first. So then any like hand wash water will actually just go down into the bowl. So the gray water goes into the bowl, uh, it's clean water coming out, so it's very clean to use, but some people might be freaked out by that because it's part of the toilet, but basically when you flush the toilet, it, it like, it runs. So this is a great idea for people trying to save money because you are not using any extra water. It's also a great idea for a small space like ours, and look how long it runs for. It runs for a while, so um, this is all water that would just go into the bowl and it's all clean. So I thought it was a great option. They actually have a lot of these toilet sinks in Japan. And yeah, we're eventually gonna get a toilet that matches the sink exactly because it's a little off in color, but we love it. And I think it was like 120 or 130 bucks and it just fits so perfectly in here and we don't have to we didn't have to rip open the wall just to put the sink in, so I love it. I'm absolutely obsessed. And then I got the shower curtain and shower rod at Ross as well. Each were like $10. And this is really wrinkled, but no one has showered in here. Once they do, it will get fixed. Just love how it came out. I think it, I think it just looks awesome. I'm really happy with it and for like a small bathroom, like I said, this is a great idea. Uh, the grout, at the, we did like a, a line of caulking and it kind of came out bad so we'll probably have to redo that later but like I said, not perfection but it's definitely an improvement from what it was. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, bathroom reno tour. I hope it inspired you. I had a lot of requests on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, um, I'll put my Instagram right here, but I had a lot of requests when I posted a picture of my before and after of the bathroom. Everyone was like, can you do a video on it? A lot of people were asking me um, where I got the sink and everything. So uh, I hope that was helpful and I hope it inspired you if you are trying to redo your bathroom. You can make a small space look really nice. Uh, it didn't cost us a lot of money and you'd be surprised how much like paint and wallpaper can really make something look like high quality even though it didn't cost you a lot. So I hope it was helpful. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.